Hello everybody, it is the 30th of March and we got the new version of Real Racing 3, uh, version 8.3, the McLaren Senna update. So we get two uh, McLaren Sennas in this version, uh, those, are the, those are actually going to be only two new cars in the new version. Um, one is going to be offered through the track day event and the GTR version we get to win through a special event the old-fashioned special event where there is no PR requirement they do give you like a recommended number but it's not required so if you are super good you can win um, very fancy McLaren Senna GTR for very little cost so um, because the let's see how much is the are these cars the GTR version of McLaren Senna is actually worth thousand gold and the non GTR version the orange one is worth 850 gold so these are gonna be pretty expensive cars and the upgrading them will cost uh, a pretty decent chunk of change to um, in the case of McLaren Senna the non GTR version in track day event it'll cost quite a bit I'm assuming probably somewhere in the range of like 400 500 gold so save up so uh, speaking of the special event this is going to be the one pinnacle of performance. Take the McLaren Santa GTR on the grand tour of some of Europe's most iconic circuits in pinnacle of performance. Complete this new seven day special event. So it's going to be seven stages. And unlike track day and race day event, or limited time series for the matter, this one you can only complete one stage per day. So something to keep in mind, they don't just like, you cannot make your way through the easy early stages quick and try to allow yourself more time in the more difficult later stages. It's going to have to be, um, you know, going one day per stage. So something to keep in mind. And generally the last stage you get extra day. So depending on at what time of the day you start these events i generally recommend start as close as you can to the midnight so you get the really almost full 24 hour at the end but uh yeah so the special event is gonna be actually the very first event that's gonna be available in the game as soon as you download the game uh so you can pretty much start at any point on up through the Friday 17th of April that's going to be when the window to start this seven day event is going to close so just uh, keep that in mind and then the actual event itself um, if you complete it you will of course get to win this nice Senna GTR the car itself and the 120 gold is what they are offering which I am anticipating most, most likely going to be spent on upgrading the car because I don't think they'll be giving away this car for free <laughs> um, that's my uh, hunch here in the past with these special events like very early on we were able to win some of these cars for free but uh, they've kind of caught on the way we run in these events so they started requiring certain events that you just can't do no matter how good you are unless you have more upgrades as in gold upgrades possibly so yeah uh, I'll be posting my playthrough video of the event so stay tuned for that and then moving on we got track day for McLaren Senna Learn a valuable lesson, challenge an old rival, and show off this incredible McLaren Senna in a new track day special event. Complete the event and the car is yours to keep. Right. And this one, um, the track day event will start in 
April, like 25th of April. So that's gonna be uh, pretty further down in this version when we will have the opportunity to win this car. Uh, runs from April 25th through May 6th. And this one, we actually know what the PR requirement is because they have published it. And we need to bring it up to 79.7. .7. And considering this car's base PR is 66.2 and maxed out at 84, uh, I'm expecting 21 upgrades, 3 upgrades across the board. The old formula, right? And uh, since cars worth 850 gold and they're paying 100 gold as a reward for completing the track day event, I'm anticipating somewhere around 450 gold to be the cost of running this track day event to win this car basically to meet the pr requirement so yeah and once again i'll be posting when once the event is available i'll be posting my playthrough um, so stay tuned for that too and then, of course, we got the continuing on with these uh, Formula One time trial competitions. We've done Suzuka and we've done Silverstone. So the, we get to do the remaining three circuits in this version. We got the Monza, Circuit of the Americas, and Yas Marina. Right. So same formula. If you are super fast, finish top, A, uh, top 0.1%. Then you get to win what 100 gold and the uh, top one percent you can win 50 gold and goes down from there and you will win some gold regardless how poorly you do this so i highly recommend definitely running even with a academy car you can do it so and the order which order are they doing this in um I believe Monza is the first one. Uh, they say it starts on March 31st and ends in on April 13th. And then the next second time trial competition is going to be the Kota Circuit of the Americas. And that one runs um, right after the April 14th through April 27th. And then the last one's going to be at Yas Marina which runs from April 28th through May 11th, right up to the, I'd assume, the anticipated 8.4 release. Just like what we had uh, with the current version, right? So, yeah, uh, get your practice in, and uh, I'll be once again posting my run-through on quite a variety of cars because I have three accounts with um by uh, by the time i run through these i'll have like nine different cars fully upgraded so yeah i'll be posting those so stay tuned for that and then we got uh since this one is uh, kind of a mclaren festival here we got three limited time series for three old mclarens 570 gt f1 gtr and uh, I guess we have a Mercedes, but it's a SLR McLaren 722. So it still carries the name McLaren in the car. And a uh, McLaren <laughs> slide of gold. There you go. <laughs> now that's a good one. McLaren slide of gold. All right. So when do they run and how much do they pay out? Well, the first um, limited time series is going to be actually for F1 GTR that runs from April 9th through April 16th. And the PR requirement for that event is 68.5. And the payout is going to be 48 gold. And once the event becomes, on, uh, becomes available, I will, as always, post the series overview video. So stay tuned for that. And... Um, the second limited time series is going to be the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren 722. Um, and that one runs from April 17th through April 24th. 
PR required for that one is 63 and the gold reward is 33 gold so that one's you know that's a I mean that car is a racing dollar car if I remember correctly so gold payout isn't terribly large in that one either um, and then the last uh, limited time series of course is going to be the McLaren 570 GT uh, that will pay out 42 gold as a reward uh, will run from May 3rd through May 10th and the PR requirement for that one will be 59.8 all right and we got a couple of new exclusive series one for the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti from the last version and the old McLaren P1 which I believe there's a hundred gold reward in McLaren P1 um, exclusive series and the Alfa Romeo there's a 60 gold to be won in that exclusive series so all right and what else um the two new cars right two new McLaren Senna's right uh, they are gonna be featured in um, two new bonus series so oh hello yes I am upgrading Red Bull Racing Formula One all the way on this account that'll be my third one on this account anyway um, so McLaren Senna right this car is gonna be the track day event car and the series this car is featured in is called raw performance and you'll find it in elite section and the series will feature actually uh, one of my favorites in the game which hasn't had a whole lot of different um, series to run in the aerial atom v8 a little bottle rocket of a car uh, is going to be included to race race against uh, McLaren Senna so that's kind of kind of fun and then the the third car to be racing in the same bonus series raw performance is going to be Lamborghini Aventador SVJ so the three car bonus series which will pay out 66 gold in total and uh, to 100% complete that one you need PR 82.6 my guess is McLaren Senna this one might be the only car that can 100% complete that's typically the way they run these events um, and uh, yeah they don't tell you much um, all right and then let's take a look at the other new car Senna GTR and this one uh, you will find it in a bonus series in legends section called no limits and uh, there will be 79 gold total to be won by 100% completing that series and that is going to be another three car bonus series along with this Senna GTR will be able to race uh, McLaren P1 GTR possibly one of the best in the entirety of the game in terms of its balance and speed right and along with that uh, Ferrari FXXK Evo so that series is gonna be blisteringly fast and gonna be a lot of fun so um, that should be fun and PR requirement for 100% compl completing that series will be 97.4 and amazingly in this series it seems like out of these three cars that's going to be featured in that series <laughs> p1 gtr is actually going to be kind of an underdog which is weird for me to say that that car comes in as an underdog anywhere right so um there you have it those are the new cars new events um let's see yeah so there you go and uh, there are some extra five events added to the, the event archive right um so uh there's a uh, gonna be track day for ferrari f8 tributo 
and track day for Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport. A special event from way back when Retro Rivals featuring the Lambo Countach. Uh, another special event, the Perfect Storm featuring none other than another Lambo, uh, Hurricane Performante. In my opinion, that I think is the best Hurricane in the game. And the last new uh, event to be added to the event archives will be the elusive one featuring Aston Martin 177. So those are, uh, I'll post the link to my playthrough from the original release of those events in the description box below. So if you are interested in running through, check them out. But for now, that does it for this video. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you like the content, uh, like, uh, click that like button and subscribe and ring the bell thingy and share all that good stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care, guys.